Hi, Glenn from Lumberton recently wrote into our office and said that he would like to suggest we get back to our Christian roots as a nation, and he would like my feedback as to what our role will be in bringing God back into our country and what our message is to our large Christian constituency. Well, thank you, Glenn, for asking that question. And as we begin a new year and think recently about the holidays, we realize that indeed so many of the values we have today that our founding fathers expressed show our deep roots in our faith in American history. In fact, here in Washington, Randy Forbes of Virginia and I co-chair the Congressional Prayer Caucus. And that is one way that we want to make sure that we remember what our roots are in our faith here in America. About 100 members of Congress, both Democratic and Republican, have joined the Congressional Prayer Caucus. We meet every Monday or Tuesday night, depending on the night we go into session for a particular week. We step across the hall into room 219, right across from the chamber of the U.S. House, leave political labels and ideologies at the door, and come together to pray, much like Solomon did in the Old Testament, just to pray for wisdom, that we do the right thing and that we remember that we are one nation under God. And in fact, we have also stood up for the right to make sure that even in the new Capitol Visitor Center, when it was omitted, we fought to make sure that it was included. The Pledge of Allegiance and its reference to one nation under God and the fact that our national motto is, in God we trust. Thank you so much for contacting our office. We do want to stand strong for the power of faith because you know the true source of power is not found in the halls of Congress or in the Oval Office of the West Wing or in the chambers of the Supreme Court, but is found as we look to God in prayer for His strength and His wisdom.